Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this really good Octavia build. Now, the reason why I do a lot of Octavia builds is because Octavia is probably my favorite frame in the game. Because one, I think she looks really cool. Two, she is just a really good frame in general. That's why I do a lot of builds on Octavia, but this is my first helmet build on Octavia. Now, the ability that we did take off is Resonator, and we put on is Rest and Rage. Now, the reason why we put on Rest and Rage is because basically it makes it so that we do more damage to them and it also makes them more faster now the reason why we want to make them more faster is so they can shoot the mallet a lot more quicker so this with the with the rest and rage is just going to make it really really nice and does obviously making it more powerful so basically more damage you can do is possible now you saw by the start i was doing a lot of damage and i was just invisible and i was in hard mode as well so this is probably like literally a really good DPS build if you want to use a DPS frame on hard mode. Now I know I don't normally do DPS builds because they always end up getting nerfed but I don't think Octavia will get nerfed, she's been like this for ages and it's because of her damage scales. So starters we've got enemy radar, this is a personal preference if you want to use a different one like cursive projection or whatever you prefer to use then you can use that but I prefer using enemy radar. We've got power drift on here, now the reason why we power drift is for that ability strength, that 15% ability strength. Every bit of strength always counts. So next we have Augur Reach, so that gives us a 30% range. We also have a bunch of Augur mods on, and even on our melee weapons, and we're going to be showing that in a bit. So we get that 120% energy spent on abilities that is converted to shield. So we're always going to be getting shield because we're always going to be using one of these abilities. So next we've got Stretch because we want to have a range. We've got Prime Flow and Prime Continuity. Reason why we have both of these, one we have Prime Flow for the energy and we have Prime Continuity for the duration. Next we have Blind Rage, like I, like I say all the time, I always use this one instead of the maxed one so that we don't go under like 90% efficiency. So we still have a decent amount of efficiency at 90 and 187% strength is fine for me. Next we have Streamline so we can get to that 90% efficiency. Next we've got Organ Message for the duration and umbral vitality for that health now obviously if you have a full umbra build or something like that on octavia then you could like put like umbral vitality umbral intensify or something like that but yeah that's kind of my build for now so for the uh, pistol that we use we use a kuva nucor kuva nucor is like the best probably the best pistol in the game because it does like so much damage and obviously status is very nice so first off, we've got Hornet Strike on here for the 180% damage. We have Enemic Agility for 90% fire rate. We have Lethal Torrent for the multi-shot. Now I didn't really try and get put Lethal Torrent on for the fire rate. I mainly put it on for the multi-shot. So if it's it's gonna have a lot of fire rate, but that is completely fine. We've got Pistol Pestilence on here for the 60. You have Barrel Diffusion on here for the multi-shot. We also have Deep Freeze on here for that. Uh, viral so we can get viral we have auger packed on here for 90% damage and so we can get 120% energy spent on abilities compared to shields and this this mod you can just do whatever you want now i just put a gunslinger on here anyway just for jokes and just whatever mod you want to put on uh, i don't recommend putting like pistol gambit on because you don't really get that much crit anyway you get like a 10% crit so you don't really want to build this for crit but whatever whatever build you want to put on so like reload chance or whatever just completely up to you on what mod you want to put on that that Next, Orphos Prime, uh, a really good melee. Anything that has decent slash and viral uh, is really good at this current moment. It might get nerfed in the future. I believe they get the changing on how status is working in the future. So just take that with a grain of salt. Take this build with a grain of salt because it might not be working in a couple of months' time if you're watching this. So we've got Condition Overload on here for the basically like melee so we get more melee damage because every time we get a status effect on a per on a person basically every time you get a status effect on a enemy so <clears throat> so for example you get slash and viral that's 240 percent melee damage right there so just basically you get more than just having like sacrificial pressure or having prime pressure points so just having a condition overload is way more better than having any of that and it doesn't take as much slots so if you see here it doesn't take as much to upgrade it does take more slots but yeah it's a really good mod to have so i recommend having it so virulent scourge so we can get that toxin and um, we also get more status gems we have heal of return on here because this is a mod that you need to use in hard mode if you want to say stay somewhat alive 
We have Weeping Wounds on here for the status chance. So that is just a really nice mod to have. Prime Reach on here for the range. We have a Berserker for the attack speed. Blood Rush for the crit chance. And a Vicious Frost for the cold. Now the reason why we'll go with Viral Slash. Viral, like I said earlier, Viral Slash is really OP. Now the the little like kid that we use is Zenoric. Now the reason why we use Zenoric is so we can get energy really easy we've got energize and dash basically that's really it just to get energy really easy so energize and dash void dash creates a zone of energy for eight seconds allies passing through the zone gain five energy five energy a second for 30 seconds so you want to basically be using this all the time and energy pickups grant 50 percent additional energy over five seconds so just a really good ability to use and if you didn't know with octavia when she uses one of her abilities, she then actually gains, starts gaining energy. It's like it's like a passive. So that's basically been it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And yeah, see you guys later.